So welcome back to the tech channel. Okay, in this particular video, we'll be discussing about one of the most premium college in the country, one of the best triple IIT in the country, which is triple IIT Delhi. And in this particular video, we'll be covering both Indian as well as NRA candidates. Okay, if some of you are NRA candidates and watching the video, so this college is also one of the best college in India for you. So uh, what? Uh, let us discuss what we'll be covering in this video. First of all, we will be covering a brief overview of Triple IIT Delhi, means a basic introduction of this college. Uh, then we will be talking about the eligibility criteria to get admission here, uh, the examination which you require to give to get admission. Uh, what is the reservation of seats for NRI candidates? Means is there any NRI quota in this particular uh, college? Then reservation for Indian candidates means how much percent reservation different categories uh, get in this college. Uh, the next topic will be courses offered. Uh, we'll also be discussing in brief about the placements of this college then the cutoff uh, to get admission in this college which is yet another very important topic then the application process and um, in the application process i will also be giving you a brief idea of admission process okay and at last the topic will be scholarships available in this college okay means if you are unable to pay the uh, pay the fee of this college then uh, what scholarships are available for you because the fee of this college is uh, high as compared to other triple IITs and other government colleges in the country. So you need some scholarships if you are unable un uh, unable to pay the fee. So we'll also be covering the scholarships available. Okay. So with this, welcome back to the Test Prep Card channel. Hope all of you are doing great in your life. Okay. Let us start with the basic overview. So triple IIT Delhi stands for Indraprast Institute of Information Technology. So as the name suggests, this college is particularly uh, designed for the courses related to uh, information technology or computer science engineering. Okay, uh, It is a well reputed college in uh, Delhi. It was established in 2008, means it is not a very older college, but still it has established itself to such a level that uh, it is one of the best college in the country. This college is famous for its, its great placements. Okay, The placements here are very good, uh, although campus is not so big. But all the major facilities, facilities which makes a college a good college are present here. Like library is very good. You get hostel facilities, Wi-Fi campus. So all the facilities are present there. Uh, secondly, talking about its NIRF 2020 engineering ranking. So it was 56. Okay. But this ranking does not justify the level of this college. I, I personally feel so. Okay. Now talking about its connectivity to the railway station and airport. So it is well connected to both railway station and airport. It is uh, 23 kilometers from the famous Indian airport like uh, Indira Gandhi International Airport in Delhi and 15 kilometers from New Delhi Railway Station. So we can say that it is well connected from both railways and uh, airlines. Okay, Talking about its eligibility. So before talking about eligibility, let me give you an idea of entrance examination. So the entrance which is required is JE main. There is no other method through which you can get your BTEC admission in uh, Indraprast Institute of Information Technology or IIIT Delhi. So the major examination, the only examination is JE main. You need to qualify JE main with a good rank and then you can definitely get admission here. Okay. Talking about eligibility, so you have to qualify JE main. You should have 80% in best 5. Like some students may have 6 subjects in class 12th but the best five will be considered and the minimum percentage should be 80 for general candidates, 75% for OVC, PWD or defense quota candidates and 70% for SC and ST candidates. This, this is basic eligibility. Same uh, goes for NRIs, but NRIs need to submit some of the documents that prove they are NRI candidate like their passport, their certificate issued by Indian Embassy, uh, where, uh, wherever they, were, uh, they are living, their 12th class mark sheet, their 10th class mark sheet. These certificates are uh, needed to be um, presented at the time of counseling by NRI candidates. Okay. Uh, now the next eligibility is candidates should be less than 25 years of age. Your age should be less than 25. Then you will be eligible to get admission here. You should not be more than 25 years of age. So this is the basic eligibility. Talking about the NRI quota present here or how many seats are specially reserved for the candidates under NRI category or DASA or CIWG category. So yes, under DASA and CIWG category, seats are reserved in IIIT Delhi. 
for an RIS. So after 12th, if you are looking for a good college, so this college is going to be a great opportunity in India for you, okay, for an RI candidates. So there are total 12 seats reserved under DASA or CIWG category for an RIs. So you have a chance to get seat in uh, to get admission in 12 seats in this college. So this is a great opportunity if you fill this college in your counseling. Okay. Now talking about the reservation for Indian candidates. So the reservation here is unique as compared to other colleges. First of all, if you are a Delhi resident, means if your home state is Delhi, if you have your domicile of Delhi or you have done your class 12th from any school of Delhi, then you get a domicile of Delhi and you get 85% reservation. Means 85% of seats are reserved for Delhi candidates and the rest 15% are uh, there for outside Delhi candidates. Means for those candidates who are there from other parts of the country. Okay, so Delhi candidates get admission here easily as compared to the other state candidates. Talking about the category wise reservation, so 15% of seats are reserved for SC candidates, 7.5 for ST, 27% for OBC, 10% for EWS candidates, 5% for defense quota candidates, means whose father or mother are serving in the Indian Army. So 5% of seats are reserved for them. 10% seats are reserved for PWD candidates, means physically weak or physically disabled candidates, okay? And one seat is reserved for the Kashmiri migrants, okay? So this is the particular reservation present in Triple ID Delhi for candidates who are from India or Indian candidates. So hope the reservation for both NRIs and Indian candidates is clear to you. Now let us move to the courses offered. Now the, uh, there are unique courses which are offered by this college. There are there is no other college in India which offers this type of college in computer uh, this type of courses in computer science. So most of the courses, as I have told you earlier, are related to IT or computer science. First one is computer science and applied mathematics. Then computer science and artificial intelligence. Then comes computer science and biosciences. Computer science and design. Computer science and social sciences. Then comes computer science engineering, simply computer science, no specialization. Then the last course is electronics and communication. So if you don't want to do computer science related courses, then one course is available as electronics and communication, which is yet another famous engineering stream. Okay, so this is like the courses. Now the placements, uh, let me give you a brief uh, idea of placements here. So it is one of the best placement providing college in the country. Its average package is around 17 lakh per annum, which is a great package. 17 lakh per annum is the average package here, not the highest. Talking about the highest international package previous year, it was 1.55 crores per annum. Okay, it was the highest uh, international package and the highest domestic package was 43.3 lakhs per annum. It is yet another great figure. So the package, the placement of this college is at the another level. It is one of the best placement providing college. Talking about the major recruitments, major companies that recruit the student from here are Facebook, Microsoft, Google, Samsung, Amazon, Dell, Adobe. These are the famous uh, companies which recruit the student from this college. Talking about the cutoffs, so I'll be discussing about the general category cutoff here because if we cover all the categories, then the video will be too much long or time taking. So let us save your time also. So for general category, computer science and applied mathematics, if you are a Delhi candidate, then it was it, it, the closing rank was 31,000 previous year. For uh, Let me first tell you about Delhi candidates only, if you are from Delhi. Then for computer science and artificial intelligence, the closing rank was 13,800. For simply computer science engineering, it was 20,200. And for electronics and communication, it was around 34,900. Okay. Now talking about the other state candidates outside Delhi, then for computer science and applied mathematics, it was 11,600. For computer science and artificial intelligence, it was 4,900. For computer science engineering, it was 5,950. And for electronics and communication engineering, it was 14,800. So this was the cutoffs for uh, the candidates from outside Delhi. So I have to, uh, taken general candidates here and it is the last round cutoff, not the spot round. Okay, spot round cutoff are much lower than this, but let us consider the last round cutoff for safer side. Okay, talking about the NRI cutoff, so you can uh, follow the link given the description section of this video for NRI cutoffs. And other than this, if you are an NRI candidate watching this video, then test prep card is a special NRI ebook prepared for you. 
and it is going to be really helpful for you so you can also download the nri ebook from the link given in the description section okay let us move to one more very important topic which is the application process and i will be covering the admission procedure also here okay so the application process is simple as the exam which is providing admission is JE main so you have to firstly apply for JE main if you are Indian as well as an RA candidate you have to apply for JE main you have to uh, get a good rank in JE main in the results then you have to apply for Jack Delhi counseling uh, note JOSA counseling is not there for triple IE Delhi triple IE Delhi and some other colleges in Delhi have a special counseling called Jack Delhi counseling so you have to apply for that counseling and then you will be uh, getting the seat in your desired branch there if you if you have a rank specified to that particular branch okay so this is a simple application or admission process here uh, very not very complicated it is very simple process talking about the scholarships available what are the scholarships available if you are not able to pay the fees if i tell you the fee uh, so per semester fee is around 2 lakh rupees excluding the hostel fee means the hostel fee is uh, additional and uh, if we talk about only the academic fee so it is around 2 lakh per semester so it will be around 16 to 17 lakh rupees will be the total four year fee so all the uh, parents can't afford this okay because some uh, lower middle class parents can't afford this much fee so the scholars there are some scholarships which will help you to get uh, some concession in fee okay so the first scholarship is this chairman merit scheme or chairman merit scholarship so under this scholarship, if you have a JE main rank under 2000 rupees and you maintain a CGPA of 8.5 in your each semester, then you get 1.25 lakh per annum as your fee waiver. So you will get a good amount as your fee waiver and you have to uh, uh, fill the remaining fee. Uh, the second scholarship is income linked scholarship. So it is a good scholarship if your parents are in BPL category means uh, in India there are two categories BPL and APL. So if your parents are in BPL below poverty line category then 100% of tuition fee will be waived off. You have not to give any tuition fee but you have to provide your certificate and your BPL card and all those things to get this scholarship. Now, like uh, the other one is if your parents gross income uh, is less than 6 lakh rupees per annum then 50% of tuition fee is waived off and if it is 6 to 8 lakh per annum then 25% of fee is waived off okay so this is all about scholarships available hope you like the video if you like the video consider liking it consider subscribing the channel for more such content